This is my fifth season with Penn State, so I've had the opportunity to be a part of four Pink Zone games now, and such an amazing atmosphere and opportunity to celebrate survivors and to raise money to help uh, underserved communities, to help the Penn State community. You know, as a program, we, we talk about the Pink Zone a lot. We talk about helping others and, and being a uh, part of something bigger than yourself, being a part of your community, about giving back, about paying it forward. You know, as a coach, our job is to help them become the best versions of themselves, and that's all about community. It's all about getting involved with things outside of your um, you know, own world, and really just helping other people. And we want those lessons to carry on for the rest of their lives, and we're hoping that what they learn here at Penn State, they take with them on for the next 40 years of their lives. Now the Pink Game is one of the best games of the year, and it's such an amazing atmosphere here in the BJC, and we would love more people to come. What, what an amazing atmosphere it could be if we sell out. Uh, what a tribute to these amazing survivors, and um, you know, what better way than to, to cheer on you know, 500 survivors on the floor than to be there screaming and cheering for them. I think the Pink Zone ha has done such a phenomenal job throughout the years, and, and obviously when COVID hit, um, it was hard for all nonprofits, and I think the Pink Zone is doing a really good job rebounding, but we need everybody's help out there to, to grow this and to help more women, to help more people, and uh, we would love your support. We would love for you to get involved um, and just always know that um, you know giving back is the number one thing you can do, and uh, we'd love to help the community any way we can. Uh, so blessed and thankful to, to witness 